In order for the Tom car to maintain high off-road cruising speeds, it requires a pretty serious front suspension. The first step in that process is to avoid the obstacles altogether, and the Tom car does that by having 15 inches of ground clearance all the way back. The second step is by having a high amount of wheel travel. The Tom car features 13 and a half inches of wheel travel in the front end. The way it does that is by having this very serious A-arm structure. This is an example of a typical commercially available front A-arm on an off-road vehicle. And as you can see, just by the sheer size, the Tom car has the ability to flex a whole lot more. And that whole front end can come up and over obstacles with less impact on the driver. Since the Tom car was developed as a fleet vehicle, there are a few key points in the durability and maintainability of the front suspension. First of those is the interchangeability of parts, meaning the symmetry from left to right. So all the pieces that fit on the left side of the vehicle will also fit on the right side of the vehicle. So the upper A arms are the same, the lower A arms are the same, the shocks are the same, ball joints are the same, hoses are the same, cables are the same, everything is interchangeable left to right. So that cuts parts inventory in half. All components that are wear items are also fully rebuildable. Items such as ball joints can be tightened up when they develop play rather than replaced as in competitors' models. Shocks, blow out seals on the shocks or break a component on the shock. The beauty of the shock is it can be rebuilt. You can replace just what's worn out or just what's broken. And that goes for the steering box as well. There's also a fusible link in the back of the suspension system and this is called the tie rod end. This is deliberately designed to actually bend or break in the instance of getting too much impact force in the front of the suspension. By giving on the end of that tie rod, it allows it to protect the other components in the suspension system, thereby reducing your maintenance costs, reducing the need for repairs, keeping your overall maintenance costs down, and giving you a better return on your investment. The Tom car was designed shocks first, or suspension system first. The benefits of that mean that the rest of the vehicle is designed to respond to that suspension, allowing it to carry the weight on the back of the vehicle and allowing the front to float over things. The A-arms are also made out of chromoly rather than an armored steel. And the reason for that is that chromoly is a little bit softer than armored steel, so it has a tendency to bend on impact rather than break. The point of that being you can drive home on a bent A-arm, but you can't drive on a broken A-arm.